What's up everyone, Greg's Gauntlet here, and today we have a very special video because my Super Nintendo Entertainment System Classic Edition has finally arrived. I've been waiting a long time for this to come to my doorstep. It's finally here. So I figured we'd start this off with just a quick unboxing. Um, Super Nintendo holds a very special place in my heart. It's one of the first consoles I've played. Um, a lot of these games I would play for hours and hours, days and days as a kid. So um, I'm very excited to actually play it again and be able to hook it up to a modern TV with the HDMI port. But as you can see, we got a bunch of classic games over here. Super Mario World, Zelda, Mario Kart, Star Fox, Super Metroid. The list goes on and on. There are just so many titles here. Um, I'm excited to go through all of them and play through all of them, especially games like Donkey Kong Country, Street Fighter 2. And of course, I do want to play the new Star Fox 2, which is a brand new game that has never been released so that's going to be kind of fun to go and play an old 16-bit game that has never been released before. So let's go ahead and just open this thing up and let's see what we have inside of here. It is, so far, just a very boring brown box on the inside. Uh, looks like we have some informational packets in here, some you know information about the system itself. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, Nintendo, Super Mario World, Super Metroid it says on the front. Oh, okay, it's kind of like, uh, it looks like it's like, like a poster. Oh, that's kind of cool. It has all the games on it, um, some information about each game. Um, Star Fox, F-Zero, Super Mario Kart, uh, Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past. Um, actually, if you fold it in the back, there's also some instructions here on how to, you know, start up your Super Nintendo Entertainment System. And of course, once you get all that boring information out of the way, you can move right on to the controller over here. It is, of course, the same Super Nintendo Entertainment System controller, the SNES controller that you're all used to if you've ever played it before. Um, it's a very simple design, has four buttons on the front, a D-pad, start select, and two shoulder buttons. It's just a very simple design controller, very familiar, very nice. Um, you can see it actually has a plug. I think this plug's a little different than the original SNES plug. I'm not sure. I haven't used the system in so long, so I'm not entirely sure if it's the exact same plug. But yeah, it's a pretty simple controller. Um, pretty familiar, very basic and simple. Um, not really that fragile. You can kind of pound on the buttons and they can take a beating. And of course, it comes with two controllers in case you want to do some multiplayer gaming. And moving on to some more boring things, you have the power brick. Um, I'm sure it's a lot smaller than the original SNES power brick. It's modern connection. It has a USB port in there. And I believe the cable to hook it up to is a micro USB cable. Um, it'd be very interesting to see if you can actually plug this in directly to like a monitor and just power it from there and actually play from there. Um, I would actually kind of like to test that out. That would be very interesting. But other than that, of course, on the bottom of the package, you have the modern HDMI cable, which is going to be great and simple just to hook up to your TV and get playing. And when you're done looking at all those boring cables, of course, you get to the main event, the Super Nintendo Entertainment Classic System. Uh, it's very small. Let's go ahead and unwrap it and take a look at it. Now, this is the US version. Um, if you live in Japan or Europe, of course, it has a different look to it. Um, a lot of people prefer the Japanese version and the European version. I tend to agree, they kind of look nice, but hey, this is the American version, um, gray and purple. Um, you have the power and the reset buttons, an eject button, which I don't think actually works. They actually have like the little cutout here for where you put the cartridges. Uh, they have the ports for the controllers over here. Let's go ahead and try and plug one in. And we have the controller cable right here. It's not fitting. Is it on the back of the system? Okay, does this, okay, so this pops open and reveals the two controller ports inside the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. So there you go, you have two controller ports for if you wanna play um, multiplayer gaming, but of course you're probably just gonna be playing this by yourself, so you plug that in, and there you go. It is a wired controller connection. On the bottom of the system you have the FCC, kind of warnings and logos, you have the HDMI port on the back and the micro USB port to power it on. Um, very small, kind of fits in the palm of your hand. Um, it's a very cool system. I believe it has 21 games preloaded on it. Let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. So here we are in the main system menu. Um, we have all the games, Donkey Kong Country, um, Earthbound, F-Zero, Final Fantasy III, Kirby Superstar, Kirby Dream Course, Mega Man 10, uh, Secret of Mana, Star Fox, Star Fox 2, which is brand new, Street Fighter 2, Castlevania, Ghosts and Goblins, Super Mario Kart, Super Mario RPG, Super Mario World, Super Metroid, Punch-Out, Zelda, Yoshi's Island, Contra 3, and back to Donkey Kong Country. 
So I loaded up Super Mario World, I've been playing around a little bit in it, and it is just like I remember uh, as a little kid sitting around in front of my TV playing this for weeks and months, uh, probably years even. I've played this game so many times. It's one of my favorite uh, games on the Super Nintendo. Um, yeah, it plays just like I'm used to. It's a great nostalgia trip, and it's it's a great game. If you've never played it before, I definitely recommend going through it. Uh, going into other games, I loaded up Final Fantasy III, which is actually Final Fantasy VI, but um, just kind of playing around with it. Again, it's another classic game, a great game if you've never played it before. Uh, it's fun. Um, looks okay. You know, if these are Super Nintendo 16-bit graphics, so you kind of take that with a grain of salt. But if you're into, you know, kind of classic JRPGs, it is a great game to play if you've never played it before. And yeah, it's just kind of really cool to go ahead and revisit all these games and, you know, be able to simply hook it up to a modern uh, television. So there you have it, guys, the Super Nintendo Entertainment Classic System. Um, just a quick unboxing of it and a quick look at it. First impressions are extremely positive. If you've ever played the Super Nintendo, or even if you've never played the Super Nintendo and you'd like to kind of go back and visit older games, this is a great way to do it. You get a bunch of games loaded on here. Um, it's very simple to hook up to your TV. And you get two controllers with it, and it's only $80, which isn't bad. Uh, hopefully you can find one if you want one, because they are in short supply. And if you didn't get it, hopefully this unboxing and quick look has satisfied you enough until you can actually get your hands on it. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to see more. Uh, if you guys want to see a review of the Super Nintendo Entertainment Classic System, let me know in the comments below, and I will catch you in the next video. Take care, guys.